and welcome back to Firewall. In this video I will be telling you and showing you how I made my prom dress. Prom was in May, but I've been thinking about what I'd wear since I was in elementary school. I had gotten more into sewing again in the last couple of years, and so I knew this had to be my next big project. Probably my biggest project thus far. I started in February, which was my first mistake, because I thought I would have plenty of time, but I did not. I got some nice red fabric from a thrift store before I had even started planning my dress, and then figured it might be cool to use. But then they announced the theme, which was forest green. Most people didn't end up following it, but I love forests and I love green, so I was going to follow it anyway. I found this curtain fabric for $4 at a thrift store, and it was just the right color, and the translucency was so cool. I designed a dress that would have a sort of corset top. My second mistake, though, was that I did not use a pattern. Actually, I do not think it was such as a mistake as not using one resulted in many mistakes. I worked off the front of the dress, guessing and measuring. Having a mannequin makes this so much better than before. My mom had some nice dresses from when she went to events in New York, and I tried them on. Most of them fit, and I liked most of them, but I was already committed to making this dress. My friends had wanted to try on some prom dresses at this place where you could rent them out and then they give you all your money back if you give the dress back, or you keep the dress and they keep your money. <laughs> I wasn't planning on getting one, but I knew it would be a really fun experience with my friends. They each found a dress that was just perfect for them and they looked beautiful. I started getting worried in April because prom was less than a month away and I still only had the top done. I made the over and under skirt, and didn't bother to properly hem or hide stitches. I did do enough hemming to make sure the fabric didn't fray. I added the boning which were zip ties. Just before prom I realized that some were poking through the fabric so I added some felt patches over them. I'm not so sure about this top. Still figuring stuff out. This is why you should use a pattern. I don't want to, but I should have. The good thing about using my Nana's thread is that it is old and rips easily so I do not have to spend a lot of time with a stitch ripper. But it also meant that I had to keep going over things many times to make them stronger. I sewed the skirt onto the top and debated how the dress would close. Originally, I used a matching color green zipper, but learned that zippers are really difficult to work with because the fabric was all wonky when I sewed it in. I saw a dress online with a corset back and a panel of fabric in the middle, so I tried that. I kept adding more panels and shaping the dress bigger and smaller until it fit okay. <laughs> Stick in the back. Let's go. 
I tried on the corset I had made a while ago and actually liked how it looked with the dress. Since the front was too small still, I cut it in half and added hooks all along, that way it would also be easier to get on and off. I had planned to make full finger gloves but messed up and tore the lace and decided to just make fingerless gloves. Finally, I added straps that you could tie in different ways depending on how you wanted the dress to look, and sewed on pearls wherever the stitching looked a bit messy. Yeah, it's pretty cute. show you the finished look. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed this or got some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye for now from Firewalk. Mm -hmm.